Hello, welcome to the land of Kakiak. My name is Laurel. Today I'm going to finish off my curriculum previews for my rising ninth graders uh, freshman year. The last one is science. So I'll link below to my uh, high school track planning video and then the previous uh, subjects I've already covered and those curriculum picks and the kind of an introduction to them. Um, the last one is science. So we're gonna be doing the Brian Builders Discovering Design with Earth Science. We have been, um, he's currently doing the Science in the Atomic Age, which is the book that's right before this. And we liked it, so we've been liking it so much. I was originally planning on doing an apologia course, physical science for freshman year, but I uh, liked so much how things were going with the Brian Builders. Um, this year to just continue on with their line of science courses. Let me show you, um, we'll take a quick look at the textbook and a few other resources like the lab kit and stuff like that, that will be accompanying him this year. Okay, I'll go over some pricing of stuff too, in case you're interested. So I bought this book and it came with um, a thumb drive for the audiobook. Probably won't use it but it came with it and the answer key and tests let me open this up so i think these two things together i believe were 79 dollars without you know tax and shipping um i think the best place to buy through is I mean, you can buy these straight from the burian builders website um or christianbooks.com i believe the price was the same so let's take a look at the book it's pretty it's a nice hardback book i like that pretty substantially <laughs> thick. Let's take a quick look at what the chapters are gonna cover. So there's 16 chapters and there are, uh, it contains reading and experiments. The reason I picked this over the Apologia one is it just was sim simpler and easier to implement, less flipping back and forth, I just felt like it was an easier, more straightforward uh, course and less kind of busy than my experience with my Apologia courses in the past. The comprehension checks in there, and then there will be tests. So I will open up the uh, lab kit so you can see it, or the experiment kit, but so it has most of what you need, and they said you basically won't be able to do the experiments without it. But they'll also, from time to time, you'll need some household items that are not included in the kit. And you'll need a laboratory notebook to keep a record of all your experiments. So you can buy the lab notebook. It's like, I think it was like $32. Or um, if you go to their website, so when you're on the inside of your book, it has, right, like websites for you that you can go to. I believe it's this one, the briambuilders.com, OLC, DDES. Um, you can find a link to the notebook just in printable form for free. So save yourself 32 bucks. <laughs> I just, um, I have another lab notebook resource. I just printed off that cover that I use. Um, and then I just printed out their lab notebook and I just used my cover and bound them together at home. This is what it looks like. Table of contents, daily assignments, worksheets, documenting experiments, laboratory notebook. And what this is gonna have in it is the comprehension questions. And they can basically just answer them in there. These are the same questions that are in the book. So you don't actually have to print this out either. I mean, you could just have just a spiral notebook or something or lined paper that they're answering their questions in but it's kind of nice just to have them printed right here it makes it easier for a, like a study guide when they go to study for their tests later and there are like math type questions so they may need a calculator for this class okay so those are like the review questions that go by chapter whenever it starts a new chapter you see this blue banner and then they have just like their, what they call their laboratory notebook section. So documenting experiments, they have a section on how they want you to 
write those up. And there are examples, like you can look at, there's an example in at the website as well. When I show you guys, when I do a review of the one, the level we're doing now, I'll show you more about that kind of stuff because I printed those things off for Everett. And then there are pages. Oops, I think I might put this one upside down. <laughs> There's a laboratory notebook. So this is where they would be marking down their observations and things like that. And um, they could do their lab right up in here. But basically it's just a bunch of blank pages, but that's what it's there for us for documenting their experiments. It's kind of nice. It keeps it all together in one spot, right? Okay, so back to the book. Let's see what are what sections were we gonna go through. So chapter one: basic concepts required to study earth science. A lot of measurement stuff. Chapter two: it's a little crusty. <laughs> I was talking about the Earth's crust, uh, weathering, soil, dirt, the geosphere, um, chemical weathering, physical weathering. Uniformitarianism and catastrophism, erosion, minerals, see rocks, the lithosphere, you know, plate movement, volcanic islands, more about ocean crust slip, density of rocks, things about the continents, magnetic alignment, magnetic field, the difference between oceanic and continental crust. Okay, more about motion in the lithosphere. So different types of faults, friction and faults, earthquakes, um, waves, seismic waves, reflection and refraction, light waves, tsunamis, more about volcanoes, fossils in rocks, okay, fossilization, examining fossils, preventing, partially preventing a reaction, fossil molds and casts, um, fossil footprints, petrification, extinct or not patterns okay then interpreting the geological record okay limited data did it change uniformitarianism's approach to the geological record atoms and radioactivity the speed at which radioactive decay occurs half-lifes um age of rocks gases and liquids radiometric dating and geologic column earth's history According to Uniformitarians, Catastrophism and the Worldwide Flood, the Young Earth Creationist View of the Geologic Old Column, the Earth's History According to Young Earth Creationists. Chapter 9, Uniformitarianism versus Catastrophism. Then we've got Water and the Hydrosphere. More on the Hydrosphere, the Atmosphere, Weather Part 1, Weather Part 2. Earth's Solar System um, in the Universe. And then this is basically what the book looks like. It's a nice color pictures. This is what the experiments look like. They always are at the beginning of a chapter or the beginning of whatever topic that they're gonna introduce in blue. And then they discuss what you found here. And then there'll be a comprehension check. And then like the next day, the next, you do it again. You start over. Now we're gonna talk about chemicals. Here's an experiment. So they're basically doing like an experiment every single day. So they're not too long. I like the length of the lessons. Like I like how they are broken up to demonstrations. Okay, uh, so that's basically what the book looks like. The answer key and tests. So the tests would be in here. So you get to the end of the chapter, you get a test for them. It talks a little about guidance about you know grading the test and then grading the experiments. They said, did the student follow the format you requested? How well did the student follow instructions? If you've never read the student text, could you understand what the student did and what was learned by simply reading the student's notebook? Dr. Wiles, so he recommends that 65% uh, of the grade, their final grade be based on the results of their test and 35% of the grade be based on the laboratory notebooks. And he has a formula here you can follow, so that's helpful. So you kind of weight those. And there is a website that uh, you can go to. So go to this website and have them check it out and see if there's like videos or anything that go along with stuff. Answers to the chapter one review. So they have the chapter review answers. Just wanna make sure that you, you check those so that they're studying for their tests, the correct answers. And then test for chapter one. So you could just take a copy of this, right? And give it to them. And then there's the answers on the back. Just so easy to implement. Yeah, so something I'll be doing 
in the future for this is probably making a lesson plan. The, I think this is set up to basically do it every single day for like the whole school year. So yeah, probably be plant plotting out a whole, I'll do like a planning video where I do that and, and designate what days to do what on it. Cause there was an, a resource like that for like the book he's doing now, which is the book before this but that was available to buy that's been really helpful for keeping him you know on a schedule and on track uh, with his current course but there wasn't one for the higher level ones so i think i might just make my own if you if you are interested if that's something that you would be interested in seeing let me know so yes do a, a lesson plan video for us let's look at the kit i haven't opened it yet this one it looks like i couldn't find it on the christianbooks.com so the Brian builders website had this kit for 75 dollars Discovering Design with Earth Science. So here's our contents. So I have a geology testing kit with instructions. Oh, so we can test for the hardness of stuff. And it comes with uh, hydrochloric acid. Okay. Things, some things to scratch stuff with, I think. A clay, a scale, a digital scale thing we're gonna do here. This, is this Pepto? It looks like Pepto Bismol. <laughs> it looks like like Pepsi or something. And then some green tea bags, Epsom salt, funnel, some kind of beaker. Let's see, we have limestone, density rocks, mass activity rock. Okay. And the geology basics kit. So the geological column from creation week to today. Cool. Okay, and there's our samples. I hope you enjoyed this video, uh, our preview of Berean Builders Earth Science, and I'll let you guys know next year how it goes. Bye.